video, we're going to review some of the functionality available with this demo file. This video assumes that you've already downloaded and installed the iCal Manipulator plugin. If you have not, please see our other video for instructions on how to do this. Now let's explore some of this plugin's functionality. Now please note that this demo showcases some of the main functionality of the plugin, but it's not a complete overview of its entire capabilities. We can start on the Calendars tab by importing all of our calendars. This will bring over both your Apple Calendar and your Apple Reminders. If we click on this arrow right here, we can go ahead and bring up a window with some details about the calendar. You have the ability to make updates to the title and color. And you also have the ability to create a new record, add and update this one, delete this calendar, or you can just close the window altogether. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new calendar. And when you do that, you can give it a name. assign it a color, and you can also add a note. But please know that these notes are only for FileMaker. Apple Calendar does not support notes on the calendars themselves. So we can click Add Update Record, Single, and then when we open up our calendar app and we see our drop-down, we now have this new test calendar for the demo. We can also go ahead and create a new reminder list, assign it a color, add update, and here you can see we have our test reminder list 2-3. Let's just go ahead and add a task here real quick. And then now we're going to go ahead and come over to our events tab and when you're importing your events you can select a specific calendar to import events from or if you leave it blank you can import your events from all calendars and you can also select a date range to import your, ca your calendar events from. So I'm going to come over on to our test cal for demo and I'm going to add an event here. of them so we have information to pull over. Okay, perfect. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find that calendar that we were just working on and then I'm going to set a date range for this month because I just put events in for this month and we'll click import all events and it pulled over that record video, my meeting with Bob, and my presentation events. If I wanted to go ahead and come into one of these I could edit the calendar that it was on so I could move it to a different calendar, I could change the title, I could set some times, I could make it an all-day event, provide some notes, I could set a location, I could also um, make a repeat rule if this event repeated, and I could add an alarm to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Update Record, and then I'm going to go ahead and add an alarm for it. And I'll do a display alarm, and you can set a relative offset for your alarm, which means it'll come up 15 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 60 minutes before your event, or you can set an absolute timestamp. And I'm just going to go ahead and set an absolute timestamp add that alarm and then close done and you can see that that alarm popped up because I set that absolute timestamp for now and then let's go ahead and take a look you can see that it added my note right here as well as the fact that there was an alarm added you have the ability to create new events right from FileMaker, so when we click Create New Event, we can assign it to a calendar, 
we'll just give it a generic title and then we'll click add update record and then I'm going to go ahead and add a repeat rule for it so it's going to occur daily every day until the 10th and we'll do update rule NICAL and so here you can see we now have that test event every day until the 10th if I wanted I could go ahead and come into this test event and I could say delete from calendars I'm going to say that I do want to delete it and I'm going to delete all of them and it says that they've been deleted and so you can see that those events have been removed from the calendar next we're going to come over to tasks and reminders and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for this um, test reminders list that we just created and I'm going to import all the events and you can see that we have the one task that we did add to that reminder calendar and go ahead and create a new one, put it on the same calendar. Give it a high priority. We're going to add update that record. And I'm also going to give it an alarm type. Absolute timestamp, add alarm. And you can see it popped up right there. when we come into reminders you're now going to see that we have the three exclamation points which means that it's a high priority with this plugin you can easily add your events in one app whether it's calendar or filemaker and then push them over to the other application this plugin makes calendar management easy because you only need to add edit or delete an event one time and the rest is taken care of that covers it for this demo. Make sure you check out the link in our description for more information on the iCal Manipulator plugin. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.